The long brothers and sisters, all praises to Yahuwah, our Heavenly Father. And my name is Brother Kuyak. And I'm here to present to you this month, the fifth month. I uh, since the new month, the fifth month has been the new moon has been spotted and confirmed. Our Sabbath now changes from um Thursday to Saturday. And this is the second Saturday we've had Saturday, second Saturday Sabbath we've had uh, this year, which is very odd. We normally don't have this close together, but they do that. But uh, you know, most people nowadays they 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 come from out of the uh, the church and they go to move to the Saturday Sabbath, and which that is still wrong. Uh, we have to go by the moon to get our Sabbath, and the ones who've been following me lately and been following Brother David, we know that we know that now. So this lesson right here is for anybody who wants to know, and especially for the beginners. That's why I do have to do the same thing every time, because I want to make sure that the people who tune in for the first time get a chance to learn and understand what we're doing and how we keep up with our Sabbath days and feast days. Moon days, too. Moon days, Sabbath days, and feast days. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and I want to congratulate the ones here that's just tuning in for the first time. And what we do is we get our scriptures, we get a pen and paper, and we take notes depending on how I feel, how the lesson goes. We want um, we want we want to take notes on it, all right? But so we have the fifth month. Um, it's always uh, uh, one in each month. It's always the new moon day and four Sabbaths in each month, all right? I don't have a fourth month. We normally go back to the fourth month every month. Well, not the fourth month. We don't go back to the previous month. I don't have a, the previous month on the, this computer right here. This is a new computer, and I just don't have. I I lost whatever was there on the other computer. I lost it. So what we will do is we just use what we have, and I pray we get an understanding of what we were doing, and we'll just move on from that from now on. But I want to be very consistent in what I'm doing every month. And I pray that everybody get a chance to learn. And hopefully one day soon, the ones who been following me well enough will send me a calendar one month because I want to make sure that people who want one, they are able to uh, put one together themselves and learn. So for no further ado, let's move on our lesson and see what we get. Now, like I said before, I don't have a fourth month calendar on this computer but if you have one uh, what you can do get the uh, if you look at it hold on get my pointer going here all right this month this week right here should have been the next to the last week should be on this week right here on the fourth month calendar all right so what you did from the fourth month you bring this week right here up to here, all right. This is like we normally do. We bring this right here because the because the uh, new moon is in this week right here. So whichever week it is, in that one you always bring it to the top of the of the, of the new calendar. So that's what we're doing here. It should have been out here on June the sixth. Start June the sixth. If you look at the bottom down here, it should have been June. It should have been June sixth. On the fourth month calendar, previous calendar, so bring that June 6th up here on the blank calendar. All right, this week here, you know, this was the last week on your on your previous calendar. The previous month, this week here, was the last week. Wherever the new moon is on the previous calendar, you bring it up to the top and you bring the other week up with it. So this right here is uh, th this week here, this line more or less. I keep saying week. This line here, you have your first Sabbath Shabbat. Man. I'm trying not to say Sabbath and say Sabbath so much. The language has been changed and we have been deceived so much. I'm going to try to start saying Shabbat more than Sabbath. Okay. So. Uh. This line here, 
This line here has your first Shabbat. Now, when you're making these calendars, sometimes I do cheat a little bit. What I do is take the calendar from the um, previous month. Let's say these two lines here from the previous month. And I just copy, just highlight it right here, just copy. And then I just paste it right here. It'll paste right in. It'll open up Microsoft Word. I download the calendar from uh, Calendar Labs and I just put download it in Word. And as I um as I put in my my numbers and my words and stuff, I just save it, save it as the fifth month or whatever month you're working on. That way, um, you won't it won't get lost. Now, don't get me wrong, I messed up last time. I had the computer, I had everything, and I didn't save everything on a separate disk. But uh, so what I, I'm gonna have to start doing that now, cause if once your computer crashes, you lost everything. All right, so. This is first Sabbath right here. Our next line displays um, the Shabbat and the full moon. Okay, you notice the new moon. Then 14 days later, you have your full moon over here. This right here, the 15th day, is your full moon. So this is also a Sabbath day. Shabbat, I'm sorry. Ooh. New Moon Day is not a Sabbath day, Shabbat day. Um, you go, you have seven, you have six working days, then you have your Shabbat, then you have six more working days, one, two, three, four, five, six working days, seventh day, Shabbat. And you notice this, these Shabbats line under your new moon. It's going to happen every month. If it don't line up like that, something is wrong. You got a day off somewhere. Your counting is off. This evening right here is when you when you look for that slip of the moon. Once you see it, you know the next day is new moon day. It's a day of celebrating the new month. Okay. So then you count after new moon. You work one, two, three, four, five, six working days. Seventh day Shabbat. Go back to work one, two, three, four, five, six working days. On the seventh day you rest for Shabbat. On this uh, next line you have here, you see how we come out of one um, Gregorian month into the next one. See, it was 30 days in June. The, the Pope Greg calendar, 30 days in June in yellow. Now this is July here in red. So we're moving out from one month into the next one. But our lunar days, it's going to still be the same. Up here, we changed, we came from the lunar days in the blue and went into the black up here. Cause once your new moon day come in, then that's a new month. So you have to change the colors. The same thing it is right here, but you're gonna keep your lunar, you're gonna keep your lunar month color and, but you can change your uh, uh, Gregorian calendar color right here. So the Shabbat still gonna be on the same day. Shabbat, you still gonna have new moon day, one, two, three, and she should have uh, the fourth Shabbat here on the next line. On our fifth line, we have here, um, fifth line, we have our fourth Shabbat. We have New Moon Day, one, two, three, four. So this pretty much is a full month here. You notice that every month, if you've been following me for a while, that the full moon is always two weeks under the new moon. Even if it's over here on Wednesday, if it's on a Monday, if you have a if you have a new moon day here, two weeks later, your your full moon is gonna be directly upon you. It just so happened the first month and the fifth month, it just so happened the new moon come on Saturdays. I know a lot of people are are uh, this is stated in their case that the Sabbath day is on Saturdays, which it is not always the case. So they just looked out the last these these few months right here. So don't go on uh, tap dancing and uh, doing a whole lot of electric slides and electric boogaloo's because next month it's gonna change. Okay, it's not gonna be on Saturday every month. So therefore, <clears throat> we need to uh, excuse me. Um, count our days, 
make sure that we that uh we know exactly how many uh, days we have in the month. Make sure you double double check behind me and yourself. Okay. For our sixth month, um, you notice how we have a 30-day month again. And you notice every time we have a 30-day month, it's never new moon day is never like a day right after it. He always skips another day. You understand what I'm saying? Let's say for instance, if uh let's say for instance, uh okay, the sixth month, let's say Let's say we have a 29 day month in the six month. I don't know yet. I, I never had calculated it yet. But if we got a 29 day month, you know, this right here is Monday, it's on New Moon Day. We had 29 day month for the sixth month. Your new moon day will be on a Tuesday for the seventh month. But if we have another 30 day month, your new moon will be on a Wednesday. See what I'm saying? So on the 29 day month, it's more likely the ones I've done so far is always the next day. The 30 day months is always you skip a day and then go over. So that just a little something, you know, I've been been seeing a little fallout place, you know. But um this right here is your projected new moon. This is the projected. We got to make sure when we count these days also, people, uh, brothers and sisters, make sure we we uh, know how many days is in your Gregor Gregorian. Pope Greg's calendars months because uh, they change all the time too. June's 30 days and July more likely it's 31 days every month. So when we make our new calendar, we got to make sure we put 31 days in there for the July. You know what I'm saying? So it's you know just keep up with everything you're doing. Um, we have the work days. Now see your your uh, your work days is gonna change here because see you had your seventh day here, your Shabbat here, then you work one more day. But see the new moon didn't come out on this day. The new moon come out this evening of the thirtieth. So therefore your new moon is going to be on the on Monday, new moon day. So you start your your working days. On Tuesday, you got to go to work Tuesday. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then down here is your seventh day, which is the Sabbath. So that's how it works, people. This is something I want to show you real quick. It's uh, it's not hard, but it's just time consuming. You got to keep your mind on it. Normally, what I do, like I told you, I download this calendar in Word, and then I put it. Then now when I get ready to open up, I just open up the blank calendar and you start typing your letters in. Now, what I did on the last calendar, I just copy and paste it from the fourth month. I copy and pasted these two lines here. All right. But if you're starting off one, what you do is you get you have to get your uh Gregorian calendar date here, which is June 6th. I normally hit a space bar and I hit type the six in space bar and then you put in the 25th day of the lunar calendar here and then you have to put in the third work day. All right. If you look at the, um, the fourth month or either or the, the, if you just look at the fourth month, mean we started on the mean we make a fifth month calendar. Look at the bottom. Look at the uh, date number six next to the last line, line on the fourth month. You see those three numbers in there? What I got in there? 23 or 25. 25. I got 6, 25, and 3. So what you do is you type that in right here. Type in your 6. That is the uh that is June 6th, right? Then hit a space bar. That is, and your 25 is the number for your what day of the month it is for your uh fourth month. It's, it's the 25th day of the fourth month, and it's the third working day of that week. You understand? So it's very simple. So once you get that done, you take, once you get that done, all right, you take your space bar and space, 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 space this all the way over like that. Once you space that over, that three is going to drop down, right? So the three, once that three drop down, you just hit enter, enter, 
in and hit about three times and your three is going to drop down to there and boom you're done with that one right there you're done see when you type your six you put your cursor between your six and your 25 and then you hit your space bar see hit your space bar and then that's why i always put this that's why i always put space between it because that way once you see that 25 right there in that corner that three is going to drop once you put that three right there hit your inner bar three times one two three maybe twice depending on the size of your font then that way once that three drop down there you're done so see what i'm saying the yeah, um how you six 25 and three those are the three numbers in that box so you put your six space bar 25 space and put your three and see you when you come back up here you put your cursor between the six and that 25 then you just hit space bar space 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 at 25 and then once you hit that right there your three gonna be right here you just hit enter enter maybe three times i depend but that's what it looks like right that's finished product right there okay so what you do then after that you just highlight you just highlight whatever color you can color it like for for this it was june so what you do is you highlight i'm gonna show you another slide how to highlight them all too but that's pretty much how i do it each each time and each each block down here all right you look at your numbers right here all right you see you got seven 26 and four see what i just did was i just added one to each number from the previous block you see you got six here you got put seven june 7 it's day 26 in the fourth month and it's the fourth day of the work week and you just use that same process like i say the first couple of blocks on the first calendar uh you can cheat a little bit you can just highlight highlight it and you just put it in here but um I'm just doing this to show you, you know, just demonstrate how the rest of it gonna have to go. But you had to keep it with your numbers. You got to be thinking the whole time. But see, this um, you don't want to miss. You don't want to add a number. Let's say if I put a five right here, so you got got a three, five, six, and seven. So that's gonna mess up our our um working day list, right? So we got to make sure you put in always add one. In the next block, always add one. So over here, it should be eight, 27, and five. See what I'm saying? You always add one. Always add one. Use the same process over, and I did in this block here. Use the same process. You see how it's coming out? Uh, pointer. Oh, let me get my pointer going. I need to be directing. See how it's coming out? Six, seven. And you know, you see you have your uh this is for this is for June. And this right here is is for the fourth month. 25, 26. All right. These right here your working days, three and four. Three and four working days. So they're coming out right here. Right here should be eight, twenty-seven, and five. Eight right here, twenty-seven and five check on check on your um calendar for june on june 6th and you will see it's down here on your fourth month calendar right but you can bring it up here so this is what you that's what your number can start off at like that so you use the same process over and over and over and over and over till you get down here it's tiresome but i've done it enough times now but you got to keep your head together now because you can't miscount and you got to remember also when you when your months change your numbers gonna change too all right your number when you go when you get the new moon day this this right here is gonna be the day 29 or 30 right in here so your new moon day everything's gonna change your regular uh pope greg calendar number is not gonna change they're gonna keep going till they change down here somewhere but your work day is gonna change and your lunar month it's gonna change so you got to put a one right here you know and then you know and you won't have it this is not a work day so you don't need a work day down here at the bottom so you start your work day down here and then which would that will be on the 13th you know what i'm saying so in this frame what i did was uh i just screenshot the whole thing and worried how i do it 
So what you do here in this one, you highlight your six, just right click and highlight it. And you come up here, you see where the little paint look like a little small pen or paintbrush or something, whatever. And then this, the color, once you highlight it, that's the color you want to use for that right there, okay? So this is June, I think we use yellow, June. So you want this to be June, 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 the upper left. If you look at the, look at your, um, your uh, calendar, I got June, upper left, it's a June, okay? See, and then the upper right, you got uh, Yahoo's calendar for the, uh, what was it? So let's say for the fourth month, they started still working on the fourth month right here in this one. So you want this right here to be, um, to be gray. No. Yellow, uh, blue, I'm sorry, blue, blue. So you just highlight this blue right here. Highlight this and turn this into blue. But that blue and that black is hard to see together. So what you do is you come up here on this one. And you and you tap that arrow right there and you turn that white therefore that white letters will show up better in that blue background better than that black because you know some people eyes ain't as good as others and you can't put with so uh you can't make these these letters were so big in these blocks right here because you can't get everything in there so you got to make it legible for the younger people and the older people like me the young people can't hardly see and and that's how you do that right there you just highlight the the one you want. Let's say all of your yellows. Do all your yellows first. If you can see good with that yellow and that black letters, fine. Leave it like that. But if you highlight this one right here, blue, for your fourth month, then that blue and that black are going to be kind of hard to see if you don't have no light and all. So then click on this right here and just highlight this right here and it'll turn those letters right there white. Okay? You got it? I just want to clear up one more thing before we close. Normally right here on the in the blank calendar, it has a uh, month right here. And down here it has year. So what you can do, you click on that in a, in a box around it. You could just uh, backspace that, get rid of that, right? Get rid of that one that says month and just type in whatever you're going to type in right here. All right. And same thing down here where it says year. Just, I just click on it and, um, erase it and then just type it in and then once you click away from click off of it then it just stays there here these letters right here you can't get them so big it's called you can make them uh big but what you what you gonna do if you get them too big they're going to disappear or either let's say right here where you see lower left work day of week you're going to hide some of that letter that whole letter won't be able to see it so you try to got to keep them sort of big enough to where you can get everything on the line but you want it to be legible you don't want to get it too small where you can't read it but you want to get it big enough where everybody is easy to see because you're gonna have it hanging up on the wall and you don't want um you know you want to be able to see it from a distance if you can if you have to walk up to it it's fine but at least at least make it legible so everybody can know what they're looking at so they don't have to strain to look for it you know make it easy so that's pretty much it for me, y'all. Um, I hope somebody, I hope everybody got some out of it. I mean, any questions at all, please just let me know. Keep me in the email if you want a calendar. Um, I'll send it to you. Hit Brother David if you have his email address. Um, sisters, you can contact Sister Maya at Princess Maya uh, 121 at gmail.com. Princess Maya 121 at gmail.com and i pray that everybody got some knowledge of this and let's keep up with our sabbath day i'll say all our sabbath days for this upcoming month will be on saturdays shalom